What's the best way to drive down the mound? Is it jumping or is it rotating? And the answer might surprise you. The answer is, it depends. Every person's body is different and their anatomy is completely different. Some people are more biased towards being an explosive athlete and you might see that they're a bit more jumpy than those who are not. Usually when they're a bigger dude, it's more tall and fall, get their center of mass going and that's gonna do the job. A more smaller dynamic guy might be a bit more jumpy, that's okay. Look at Shane McClanahan, look at Jared Jones. Both of them are a little bit on the jumpy side and it works for them. They throw in the upper 90s and then you got other people like me when I was younger, I would jump off the rubber. I'm not necessarily twitchy like those guys, so it didn't really work. And it was limiting my ability to throw harder. I think generally speaking, most of the time it's better to rotate your hips and learn how to do that properly. Something I like to do is called the hip rotation drill. So what you do is you go in a rocker, you go forward, back, rotate your hips. So you're turning as far as you can, then you release your heel. You turn a little bit more, and once you can't turn any further, you release your pinky toe, and then you turn even more all the way. And then finally, once you can't turn any further, that's when you release your big toe and follow through. This will teach you the feel for it. If you're a jumpy guy and it's working and you're throwing in the upper 90s, keep doing it. There's no reason you should change because people are telling you you have to rotate. If you're already in that upper echelon and you're gonna make it to the major leagues based on what you're doing, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, just don't. It's not worth your time. I would generally teach learning how to rotate your hips because it will help most people. Even if you don't rotate, a lot of young kids, they just extend like this and that's not gonna work either because that's not getting any kind of rotation. The people that are jumpy and do it right, they jump, but they're rotating while they jump. So it's like, instead of like most kids. So I think the best way to teach this is the hip rotation drill and single leg RDOs, getting into your hip hinge, down, up, and just feeling that hinge. Hip thrusts are another great thing. The more you do these sort of things, the more your body will understand what it's supposed to do and get into these positions. And I hope this helps.